सो हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द न्यू लेक्चर ऑफ द कोर्स एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी विल बी लर्निंग टू मेजर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूलाज विच वी वुड बी यूजिंग वेरी फ्रिक्वेंटली इन द अपकमिंग वीडियोज वाइल सॉल्विंग डिफरेंट न्यूमरिकल्स ऑफ लॉगरिज्म ओके सो बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेक्चर वी विल रिवाइज द थिंग्स विच वी हैड डन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ओके सो वॉट वी हैड डन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज दिस दैट मीन्स दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन if we have this exponential equation that is a raised to x is equals to m so uh, if you are if you are converting this uh, exponential equa equation into logarithmic logarithmic form so it would be x is equals to log of m log of m to the base a okay so let me highlight these two particular points again once again and there is one reason that why i had written this particular two equation once again okay which i which i will be telling uh, you all guys just give me few seconds and then uh, you will come to know you know why i had written this two particular equation okay so now let's suppose let's suppose uh, we are taking x is equals to 0 okay we are taking x is equals to 0 so what is going to happen so see x is equals to 0 that means we are talking about a raised to 0 okay and we know just a second yeah we are, that we are uh, that means we are talking about a raised to 0 and we know that anything raised to 0 its value is 1 okay i hope you know this uh, very basic equation that is anything raised to 0 whether it may be 1 1 raised to 0 2 raised to 0 or maybe 1 lakh raised to 0 it is obviously it is going to be 1 so this is very basic equation i hope you had studied this particular equation in your school days or something like that okay so that means what this is your exponential equation and how can i write this particular equation in the logarithmic form i can write this particular equation in this way see that means it it can be written as 0 is equals to log of 1 to the base a oh such a nice point it is okay so what we need to do we need to highlight this particular point because this is the very basic formula okay as such this is not uh, the uh, proper formula formula of log but yes this particular points uh, you know it it will surely help you in lots of numericals where, uh, where you would be you know solving uh, some if if you are solving some pro problems related to physics or maybe chemistry so yes at that time this particular thing uh, you know comes very frequently okay so for that we need to remember this particular thing such a nice point it is okay see what we did we first uh, uh, wrote this two particular equation which we had seen in the previous video and then what we did we just uh, you know put the value of x is equals to 0 okay and then we know that uh, anything raised to 0 is 1 so obviously we got this particular equation that means what that means this again i am writing over here log just a second yeah log of 1 to the base a and that pans out to be 0 okay so a, a can be anything a can be except just a second a can be anything except 1 a can't be 1 there is one reason again so i will be explaining this uh, reason after some time okay so you, you need not worry about this particular point okay so uh, uh, you just remember this particular thing a can be anything except 1 so this is again the most important thing a can be 2 3 a can be uh, 100 200 anything but surely a can't be equals to 1 so this is the major important uh, major thing or the major formula which you need to remember okay what i will do i will again uh, cut this particular equation and we will write this particular equation i mean we will copy this particular equation in the next page okay control v okay so let me move this particular point over here and now let's suppose let's suppose if i'm uh, you know uh, putting the value of x is equals to 1 and the value of m is equals to a so what would be the you know logarithmic equation that we would get so we'll check this particular thing see what i had done instead of x i am putting this uh instead of x i am putting 1 over here and instead of m i am putting a over here that means that means what that means c if we have 2 raised to 1 so obviously its answer would be 
so this is what it means okay i hope you understood this particular point let me erase this thing yes so now students think how we can write this particular equation in the logarithmic form it can be written in this way see 1 is equals to log of a to the base a log of a to the base a oh okay sir that means that's why we had uh, not taken here a as 1 because log of 1 okay to the base of 1 that would be 1 and that's why we had not considered this particular a that means a should be equals to 1 okay that's why we had written a should not be equals to 1 okay I hope you understood this particular point I will write over here once again log of a to the base a and that is equals to 1 I hope you understood this particular point see again I am explaining this thing if let's suppose instead of this a if we are writing log 1 and if let's suppose if the value of a is 1 so this value would be 1 okay so apart from uh, 1 if the value of a is 2 3 4 5 6 anything so this particular uh, you know equation would be 0 but if it is 1 then surely you are getting 1 as an as the answer okay so let me erase this particular thing okay fine I hope you understood this particular point as well and I am marking with um, highlighting it with red color okay so this is another major formula which you need to remember okay because this particular thing you would be using very frequently okay in different different subjects so I hope you understood this particular thing and now we will move to the next page and this would be the uh, you know very last formula which we would be dealing so what we'll do we'll again write those two we'll again uh, you know just copy those two particular equations let me copy those two particular equation control C and let me move to the next page control V okay so these are the, those two equation that is exponential and logarithmic equation now let's suppose I am giving this uh, particular equation as 1 marking this particular equation as 1 and I am marking this particular equation as 2 now see what I am going to do I am going to do going to do see you have a raised to x ok this, so this is equation 1 and the value of x is log of a sorry log of m to the base a so I can write this particular equation from 1 and 2 or what I can write by equating by equating the value of x in equation 1 in equation 1 ok that means we have to equate this value of x in equation 1 so we end up getting the value as this that means a log of m to the base a and the value of this particular equation that is equals to m oh this is a good formula to remember okay and remember one thing so this kind of formula it comes in lots of numerical we, we would be using this formula very rigorously in various numericals okay and again this particular formula comes uh, lots of time when you are uh, solving some numericals related to physics okay or maybe uh, chemistry okay so you have to remember this uh, three formulas okay I'm writing separately over here a just a second yeah a raised to log of m to the base a and the value of this particular equation pans out to be what oh sorry pans out to be m and this is very important formula uh, I will mark it with the red color only yes so this is what you have to remember so you should remember these three particular formulas that is uh, just a second yeah this is the very first formula you need to remember first then this is the second formula which you need to remember okay and this is the third formula which you need to remember okay 
now what i will do uh, i will take uh, some numerical based on this particular formulas okay so these are the uh, three formulas what i will do i will just uh, you know uh, copy this particular formulas in the next pages okay so that it would be easy for us to solve the numericals so control c and then we will uh, move to this particular page control v okay let me move this particular image over here then let me go to the next page that is page number second and from here let me just copy this particular equation or the formula control c and yeah control v and the last formula is this which we had deduced just now control c and let me move over here control v yes so these are the formulas which we know okay so my first question would be my very first question would be this log to the base 3 of 1 what would be the value for this so obviously the value for this would be 0 okay why because by using this particular formula okay now tell me uh, now solve the equation this particular uh, sorry this particular question log of 100 to the base 100 obviously sir the value of this particular uh, equation would be 1 why by using this particular formula okay such uh, see you uh, need not to worry about this thing because only you know such basic questions are asked in exam or maybe in you know entrance exam only these particular basic questions are asked <laughs> based on this particular formulas but yes you know you need you when you are dealing with some complex numericals at that time uh, you know it's little difficult to figure out these three particular formulas okay you uh, you get confused where to use such kind of formulas so for that i'm explaining uh, very shortly and very sweetly okay so that there won't be any doubt in your mind and the last but not least is this particular question that means 10 log of log of what log of 2 to the base 10 find the value for this sir as i can see over here this i can see the uh, this particular uh, question is looking like it is looking like this particular formula uh, formula so i will directly write the value of this particular question as 2 okay so this is what i meant see we what we did i will just revise the things very quickly and we we, we will end this particular uh, session so what we did at first we jot down this particular two equations which we had deal in the previous video then what we did that okay <coughs> sorry then what we did we put the value of x as 0 and based on that we got the uh, this particular equation that means log of 1 to the base a is 0 okay then moving to the next page what we did we uh, yeah we put the value of x is equals to 1 and then we put the value of m is equals to a okay you you don't get confused okay uh, what i did over here is or what this particular thing uh, implies is this see 3 raised to 1 is equals to 3 so this is what this particular uh, equation implies okay so you did not worry about this part okay and based on this we deduce this particular second formula okay and then we moved further and then what we saw we saw that this we got uh, this exponential and logarithmic equation in the previous video so what we did we just equated the value of x in in the equation one okay and by equating this particular equation we got this particular formula that is a raised to log of m to the base a and the value of this particular equation is m itself whatever it 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 is over here inside the lock it would reflect as an as your answer okay so let me erase this thing yeah and based on this what we did we did uh, very basic numericals okay that means log of uh, if log of a uh, sorry log of one uh, ba and its base is a so we end up getting the value as zero okay then log of a to the base a then we end up getting value as 1 
okay i mean uh, obviously if a is 100 okay in both of the scenario and here a is 3 and obviously uh, log of 1 then what we did we just uh, put value of a as 10 10 raised to log of 2 to the base 10 so we end up getting the value as 2 okay so this is what i wanted to uh, explain in this particular video so students i really hope that you understood this particular uh, part this particular formulas very uh, clearly okay if you have any doubt feel free to ask me okay so thank you for listening to me patiently i am ending this video over here thank you